Have you been getting the invalid phone number error when trying to activate your YouTube monetization two-step process? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. I'm in Nigeria and my two-step verification has been successfully activated. Now I'm going to show you how I activated this step by step so make sure you watch this video to the end. Let's get into it. Recently, YouTube added the two-step verification as one of the requirements for YouTube channel monetization. So you need to have up to 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours and you also need to have two-step verification on your channel and zero active community guideline strikes. For those living in America and in most European countries, activation of the two-step process with their phone number over there can be very easy and direct. However, it is not so easy for people living in countries like Nigeria and other African countries where the phone number always gives you an invalid error message. You get an error message that tells you that the number is invalid. So what other alternatives are there to activate the two-step process as this cannot be avoided if you want to be monetized on YouTube? So I'm going to be showing you that in this video. So to do this, first of all, we'll click on turn on. When you click on turn on, you get this pop-up, you click on continue. It will take you to this page where you have to verify that you are the owner of the Gmail account that is associated with that YouTube account. So you just, all you need to do is to put in your password. And click on next. So after Google verifies your password, it will take you to this page for the two-step verification. Here it gives you the option to use your phone as your second step to sign in. So um, it says that after you enter your password, Google prompts are securely sent to every phone where you are signed in just to tap the notification to review and sign in. So these are the devices I use. Once someone tries to sign into your YouTube account, Google will send a secured prompt to every phone where you are signed in and all you need to do is to tap the notification to review whether you are the one trying to sign in or is somebody fraudulent that is trying to sign into your account. Now these are the two phones that the Gmail associated to my YouTube account is signed into and whenever I try to sign in or when someone fraudulent tries to sign into my YouTube account, a notification will be sent to these phones and I can click it to verify if I'm the one or is someone that is trying to um, hack into my account. So to do this, this is the normal first process you can use to verify your two-step verification. But if you try this process with a Nigerian phone number, they will keep telling you error invalid phone number. So let's say I want to use this phone number for, let's say this is my Nigerian phone number and I want to use it for my two-step verification. As you can see, almost there, add a backup option. If you lose your phone or your second step is unavailable, you will need to backup you will need a backup option to help you get into your account. So this is the backup option for the two-step verification. This is a Nigerian phone number. You can see the Nigerian flag. When I try to use this phone number, you will see the prompt I am going to get. So I have clicked on send and it's telling me invalid number, try again. No matter how many times you try again, they keep telling you, no matter how many Nigerian phone numbers you try to use, they keep telling you invalid number, invalid number, invalid number, invalid number invalid number so the only thing you can do is to use the alternative backup method so as you can see at the bottom here it says use another backup option so we'll click on that since the nigerian phone number doesn't work google has provided a backup option you can use instead of your backup instead of your nigerian phone number so instead of using your nigerian phone number that will not be accepted they have given us 10 codes that we can use so now with these 10 codes Whenever you are trying to sign into your account, you are asked to provide a two-step verification code. You can use any of these 10 codes. But the thing is that after you use one of the codes, you cannot use it again. The code only, you can only use one of it once. That means you have 10 codes which you can only use 10 times. So once you use the first one, you can't use it again. Once you use the second one, you can't use it again. So keep this code in a secure place where nobody can find it and in a place where you will not lost it. Because if you try to sign into your account, they will ask you for a two-step verification and you have to type in one of these codes. And when you are done using this thing, you can always generate another thing. And that is the only alternative you have. If you are living in a country like Nigeria where your phone number is invalid on the Google two-step verification process. So after you get this code, you write it out or take a screenshot. So after you have securely copied this phone number, you click on next. After clicking next, you get this prompt. So Google is warning you that you should print or download these backup codes because if you get locked out of your account, you will need them to get in. And if you don't have them, 
and if you don't have them you cannot access your account so click on after copying it click on i have my codes click on it so two-step verification turn on two-step verification second step google prompt default so now if someone tries to sign into my account and they have my password even if they have my password after putting the password they will need to pass through this second step where google will send me a prompt to my phone and if i click on it then i have verified it if i don't have that if i don't have my phone with me i can always use the backup codes once i enter one of those 10 codes i will have access to my account so any device where this email has been signed into now apart from these devices google is going to sign me out of those accounts and anybody that has the account signed in on their devices they will need to go through this two-step verification to get access into the account so that is why google has created this two-step verification process to secure your youtube account because you'll be making money with your youtube account and they don't want you to be defrauded so the two-step verification process is actually very important because people now get people's password and all that but even if they have your password they cannot access your account because they don't have these codes that google has provided for you so after all this you click on turn on and turning on to step verification and it's loading it's loading so now we are going to see if our two-step verification has been turned on on our youtube monetization page so this is our youtube monetization page now and our two-step verification has been turned on it is now active so that is how you activate your two-step verification on youtube if you're in a country where it's telling you that your phone number is invalid this is how to activate the two-step verification process. So if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.